Hello everyone. Actually, let me try that again. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we... let's see, what did we do? Oh yeah, we, we found Gold, the, um, the Magma, and found that he was not content with his life. So, we fulfilled a favor to Kina, who needed someone to plow her fields, and we brought Gold to her. Really, that's simple as that. We also got a piece of heart, which is cool. And I'm, I think, I have a theory, that this, this is a goddess chest we apparently activated within the Elden region, that this is the last heart piece. It's just a theory. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this is the last heart piece, and that we can have 20 hearts, or 18, but I'll probably equip the life medals next episode. So... Is it? Okay, first I would kind of want to get my bearings to see which chest it is, because there are two chests on the island. Okay, it's the one on the right, or the one that is east. Come on. There we go. That was very close, and that was a close landing. Okay, so let's dig down. It's going to be also up. It's going to be on top. Okay, so... We don't need to kill that Moldorm. We just need to go into... Punch. Punch into the beam of light here. Even though there is no... There's clearly... Oh, I can't look uh, above. But there is no light up... Up here. But... Actually, I guess you could... There is. So here it is. Here's our chest. And... A bottle! Oh, so there are five bottles in this game. Just as I suspected. So that was a surprise. Bottle, okay. I'm down with that. One thing I like about having multiple bottles and an item check is the ability to, to just have potions in the item check, and just swap them out if we don't use them. So, like, we could have a stamina potion, a guardian potion, an air potion, a heart potion, and we could just swap them out. It's pretty neat. We don't have to empty out bottles to get more potions. We can just swap them out. Really neat. So, this episode, there is one more side quest for us to do for now, until we can go into Leneru. So, we're going to see what that is. It is in, this, in Skyloft. And you have to go into the bazaar to activate it. Well, not really to activate it, but to discover what the side quest is. I guess that could be said as activation. But either way, we're going to the Skyloft Bazaar, and when we do, I'm going to switch out our items for a temporary one, because we did not have the, uh, the iron, no, the fortified shield in Elden. So, I will be right back. You might be wondering why I'm doing this again. And... I'm gonna miss that one, but... I don't really know either. But... No. I want to get a higher score. Also, I want money. Not not from Ryan. I, I want rupees from him. That was close. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was too close. I need to do a little bit later. Okay, yes! Oh, oh! And... Yes! Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Yes! Beautiful! Yes! No! Aim a little bit higher. Yes! Yes! Boom! Doing it, doing it! Yes. Am I going to beat my old, my old score? Yes! One more shot, I'll beat it. No! Thank you. 
Oh! I didn't even beat my old score. Oh. That actually stinks, because, like, I did better when Ryan was doing... Oh, and I got just a treasure. Man, I wanted rupees. Well, like, at least I could show off what he gives you. Rare treasure. <sighs> Man, I was... I did better with Ryan doing his goofy voice in my ear and cracking up when, than I did when I had full concentration. You're probably wondering why I waste I just wasted 90 seconds of your life doing that. Well, that's because <laughs> I'm secretly stalling for time because we don't have much to do this episode and really we don't. So, just a second. Okay, I just got my shield repaired and da 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 da. I'm going to be wearing this for the remainder of this episode because I didn't wear it when the time came. But it's it's okay. We lost our items anyway, so we didn't have them for most of the time. But it, it still kind of bums me out. Anyway, so, you'll notice that everything seems normal, except for Sparrot is gone. He's not here, his crystal ball isn't here, he's gone. And we've never been to his house, so that'll be a new experience, but we're going to go to his house. Ah, beautiful hearts. Oh, Scrapper! Hey, buddy. What's going on? It may look like my... It may look like my master only tinkers around with machines as a hobby. But that's not the whole story. He's building an automatic washing machine for his mother. Clang! Isn't that great? He's not, all, he's not at all like a certain someone I know who drags Mr. Sphere around the world without a care for her safety or happiness. Bzzat! What a mean jerk. I'll have you know, he and I are tight. We're buddies forever. Not like you. You and I aren't buddies. What do you have to say? Good grief. Will you talk to that boy of mine for me? I thought he would settle it down a bit and maybe even wash his hands now that he's got that robot up and running. But he's still tinkering away. I'm telling you, that boy will never get the grease out from beneath his fingernails. Ah. Uh. Okay. Gondo, I I know I'm I'm burning time. I'm sorry. Hey, kid. I hope you're put putting old Scrapper to good use. He's got a bit a bit of a mouth on him, I'll say. But I but he's a robot with a good heart. Well, if robots had hearts, just remember to treat him kindly, and everything will work out fine. Maybe that's our problem. We haven't been treating him kindly. Hey, buddy. I got your back. I may or may not remove your battery when you're recharging. So, I burnt time, <laughs> yay! But hey, it's it's for a good cause. So, Sparrow's house is this way. Where up here? Go up here by the big punk pumpkin patch. Kill these baddies. Get a uh, jelly blob, which is not really that exciting because I have what 40, 43. Yeah. Now, if I had 53, that'd be or 54, that'd be a cool thing because that would be the number of this episode. But alas, I don't. So let's go into this house, which is not marked because we've never gone into it before. And inside, I really, really wish the uh, the sh the potion shop music from Ocarina of Time played here. But it doesn't. But anyway, here is Sparrot and his crystal... I'm trying to look at it. His crystal ball's broken. He looks really sad. I'm fine. Go on, go on. Please leave me be. My crystal ball is shattered. And without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as if these exquisite... All oh, seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. If only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Is it not true that you've recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently, young man? 
This shattered crystal was salvaged below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my delicate hands. There still may be others like it where it came from. Yes, yes. Would you search for a new one for me? Yeah. Yes. No doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that he found found it atop a mountain. Uh, building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Your dousing ability can be calibrated to locate the crystal ball that this person is seeking. However, if you are seeking for another object, then another... Uh, we, get, we get it, Fee. Yes, I wish to set the crystal ball as my dousing target. Understood, Master. I'll set your dousing target to the crystal ball in question. Thank you, Fee. I'm counting on you, young man. Without my crystal ball, I cannot gaze into the future. Oh no, my eyes. They would droop with despair. Please bring me a new crystal ball with all haste. <laughs> I'm magically sad again. Why do I keep saying magically? It's not like you. it takes magic to make yourself sad. I keep saying that. Anyway, so we're going to help Sparrot. And to do that, we're going to sleep in, where's his bed? His bed, because he's he doesn't need it. Just look, he's he's going to be sitting there all night staring at the crystal ball, so we'll sleep until morning. I think I said night just a second ago. Ah, delicious water. I'm, yes, I'm still drinking that water. Two episodes, and I'm on the same glass of water. Now, if it was really two days apart, if my recording session was two, were two days apart, that would be a little bit gross, but they're not. This is the same day. So, let's go to the Elden region. Now, because we've gone there last uh, last episode, the episode before last, and this episode... Oh, wait, no, no, we haven't gone there this episode yet. But because of that, I will cut there, because that just makes sense. And you're all boom. If only our loft wing could come down with us, that'd be really neat. I don't know why they why it doesn't. Well, maybe because oh oh, it's because Zelda said very early on that the loft wings can't go beneath the cloud barrier. Okay, that makes sense. So where we want to go is temple entrance. Yes, I want to ascend into the area. And this is the only building top of Mountain Peak. Now, if you're trying, if you're thinking of maybe the uh, 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 fire sanctuary, yeah, fire sanctuary, then that doesn't work because that is actually in a crater, and a crater and a gorge, so that won't work. I don't know why I needlessly killed those Bakoblins, but they, it's I guess it it's me getting back at them for what they did to us two episodes ago. Okay, now, what you want to do is fly up here. We've gone up here before. There's a goddess cube right there. Now, there is a... There is a... Gossip stone right here. And you probably see the crystal ball in the background. You can see it there. Boing oing. It'll give us a, a some Elden Ore. And... I think the bug just flew in my mouth. We'll get Elden Ore. La da la da. And... Gossip stone! I've heard some of the goddess cubes unlock all sorts of treasure when they fly up into the sky. Some even hold a piece of art. Yeah, we we knew that. You're kind of useless. Well, actually, not that useless. There we go. Got a ruby. So, we'll just claw shot to the face of the earth temple. And there's our crystal ball. It appears to be a perfectly spherical object fashioned from solid crystal. It exhibits high, uh, an uh, extremely high degree of transparency. Not really. I can't see... Actually, no, I can see through it. Oh, that's cool. You can. Also, it kind of looks like you can see, like, stars and supernovas in it. Really neat. It's pretty. I wonder if that's the moonstone. I've located a substance that closely resembles the material used in the fortune teller's crystal ball. Oh, and yes, dousing would lead you here. But you guys probably knew that. It, would, it should make a suitable replacement. Should, should I call the robot to collect it? Yes. 
Master, I would send I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. Going along with what Gondo said, "Hey, buddy, my pal. How are you doing? Will be you will you be nice to me now that I'm nice to you? Man, your your helmet looks great today. You just look very chipper. Very upbeat today. You do a good job. You're the best. You're the bomb. Man, you're awesome. I really appreciate how you help us. Okay, I'll, I'll stop complimenting him. He, otherwise, he might think it's overkill. Mr. Sfee, I'm here. Oh, you want me to carry this old thing? Hey, Master Short Pants, how come you always get the easy jobs? Yeah, the, being nice doesn't work. I'll be waiting for you to... I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Uh, I guess he's never going to be nice to us. Maybe. Master, I suggest we all, we also return to the sky and collect the crystal ball as soon as possible. Okay, Fee. Now, if you notice, over... Beetle... Beetle. Over here. There was a matching crystal ball, but it broke off a long time ago. Probably when Goldo's... Not Goldo. <laughs> Goldo is a Dragon Ball Z character. When Gondo... <laughs> when Gondo's ancestor got it. So, yeah. Interesting. Cool touch. I really like how they put some of the little details in this game. So, let's fly to the sky and go relieve Sparrot of his suffering. Fly up. And we'll have... Scrapper with the crystal ball. There he is. Man, that crystal ball is pretty. Look at it. It kind of shines in the sky, in the bright sun. It's really cool. It's really pretty. And through here. And Scrapper will get stuck. Maybe that's why he's mean to us. Because we keep making him crash, in, crash into rocks. Dive out here. And Sparrow's house is only a short walk away. Very short. All we have to do is... Jump, uh, run over here. Hoppy hop. And go this way. And cutscene, apparently. They wouldn't let us take the last few steps and press A. No, they they had to do a cutscene. Here's that bright and shiny crystal ball. Bzzzat! Man, you're, he's rude. He's not that good of a people person. I mean, obviously this guy's suffering and he's just yelling. If you need me, Zerush Clang, feel free to call. Man, he's being obnoxious. For Mr. Sfee, I will travel to any destination. Cur desired. Maybe he's maybe he needs like an oil change because he's really making clangs and crashes. Maybe we need to give him a couple more um, ancient flowers. Oh, what do my eyes behold? This this is it. You found it. This is exactly the fi the same as the crystal ball I used before. Ahem. <clears throat> Fates and fortunes. My eyes are wide with the thrill of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Come by the bazaar again and I'll tell your fortune for a special price. Thank you, Sparrot, and thank you, and your eyes, and your mustache, and your <laughs> fat face. We will use your bed as even more gratitude, since we have 75 gratitude crystals, and we'll end things off by going and talking to Batro. I keep wanting to call him Beatrix. Ryan. And now that we've done that, let's go to Batro. And see how he's doing. He must be getting better. I mean, we're turning into him to a human, right? So he should look more human, right? Maybe those wings will be gone, and he'll... Ha he, he'd probably have no, a goatee if he was a human. That, that just makes sense. It just feels right. Die. You too. Jump down here. Run. Oh, hop, skip, and a jump. And backflip, backflip, back. Where is it? 
backflip. And boom. Let's run through here. Hop. And go into his house. Batro, you don't look any different. You stay you're still the same beady eyed individual that we know and <laughs> love. Ugh. He kinda looks creepy. Actually, wow, those horns look like Ganondorf's horns from Toilet Princess, anyway. Batro, what do you want? Oh, you've gathered a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a symbol, as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. Gold rupee, sweet. That'll help me upgrade stuff next episode, or in between episodes, r rather. But that's not all. I want you to have. Uh, that's <laughs> that's that's funny tone. But that's not all. I want you to have. Goodness, no! I have so much more th more thanks to give. Here, take this too. Another gold rupee. That'll help me uh, even more. 600 rupees. I appreciate that. I only require a few more gratitude crystals to become human. Please help this needy demon a bit more. Okay. Now. Sniff there, because my allergies. But that's going to be it for this episode. Both these episodes have been slightly short. Next, ep next episode, since it's Saturday, it should be a bit longer. And in that next episode, we, in between episodes, I'll upgrade stuff. And next episode... We'll head down into the Laneva region to see where we need to go. First, though, I think we'll take advantage of um, those two gold rupees. I will buy the bug metal because we're getting close to the end of the game, and I don't want to leave purchases to the last. So I'm going to buy that bug metal, and maybe we'll show it off. We'll show so show it off soon. And I don't have enough rupees, so I'm going to be grinding at um, uh, Dodo's soon or in between episodes so yeah and also we'll have our fortunes told by Sparrot. so it's apparently it's a better price so i'll see you next time for another how plays skyward sword good night